Challenge. This place, the air's different. Squad legacy. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll be able to finally solve the mystery of that last legacy. Wait, hold on a minute. Playing it here could provoke the other Nativas. Don't worry. We'll still have time to check the legacy after retrieving the Alpha Core. Yes. For now, we should focus on fighting the Alpha Nativa. I'll hold on to it. Let's go. What is this place? This is an ancient water purification system. This is the source of the contamination. The 
Yes. We're finally here. Look, there's something hanging in the air. Looks like a human. I think they're alive. What should we do? We have to save them from the contaminant. Ah! Ah! What's that noise? Ah! 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 No, there's no way. That's impossible.
it's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted. Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. No, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars to space. Taki! Promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever. Airborne squad member who themselves became an Alpha Nativa. Is this the work of the Elder? Hmm. Could I take a look at her memory stick? Here. It feels different from the Elder Nativa. I can dimly make out the image of a Nativa bearing black wings. Black wings? It's the one that attacked Taki and me. It has to be. But why? I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. Why? Why does it hate us? It's not unusual for Natibas to find themselves at odds with humans. But this... Can you locate it? It is not yet within the scope of my personal link. The same goes for the other Alpha Natiba. Alright then. We'll need another hypercell. Where should we go this time? This time, the hypercell is it. The easternmost reaches of the desert, Abyss Lavoir. This one won't be easy either. Let's hurry. Uh, yes.
As you know from first-hand experience, it is not an easy fight. I'm aware of that. But I promise, I will find it. And I will make it pay. That's the kind of mistake you can't make twice. What? What did you say? Nothing. Let's just prepare ourselves to go to Lavoir. Come to the safe house when you're ready to leave. waiting for you. Do you have good news? I do. Well, I finished customizing the Taki device. So, you can now use Taki's weapon and skills. Really? I didn't think that kind of thing would be possible. That's amazing, Lily. I'm sure Taki would have been happy to see this. Good work. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52, after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light. Our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Ados, her self made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Ados, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created. With our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. 
At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? Lily, Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam, please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Are you ready to leave? All preparations are complete. Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. Even seasoned scavengers get lost in the Great Desert. But we have a map now, so that isn't going to happen to us. Definitely issues with this camp as well. Hmm. It seems as though there's a problem with the power supply. But the trouble is that the solar tower is in the middle of that giant sandstorm. Eve, let's look for the sentinels around here. Maybe some of them will cooperate. Okay. Civilization just turned into dust. Not all of it. That's why scavengers like me exist. Looking for screws in the desert. Well, it's a very common thing on Earth.
Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. Just as I heard. Outsider. Hmm. <laughs> this place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful. No blade, just like an Altes Lavoie. Yep, no drone scanner either. Lily, are you feeling in for Adam? Yeah, he's busy fixing the tetrapod again. Ah, all right. I know I'm in safe hands with you, Lily. Thank you. 
Saw blades have stopped. Panel for the gate in the control room back at Altes Lavoir. This place, it feels off somehow. I think you're right. There must be something lurking here. safe now.
Security is down. more like a factory than a lab. The other side of the gate is crawling with Natibas. But this looks like the only way we can get inside. I'll try to find a way to unlock the gate. Alright, back to the gate.
repairs are taking forever. I can see the exit on the other side, but... This won't be easy. Lily, let's go. Switch should turn off the security. Eve, the temperature is spiking. Relax, Lily. I can still manage. Looks like I need to shut down the security system to get through. Eve, sorry for the wait. So, shall we head out? Too late, we're already here. What? How? Oh. Isn't the security system online? Adam, can you check our proximity to the hypercell? Give me a sec. The hypercell is just past the research lab. electrified with a lethal high voltage current. So now what? We'll have to use whatever we have at our disposal.
be able to get to the research building's entrance with the rope. your way through it. Way to go, Eve. Look, there's a supply cap. Nice. Let's take a second to regroup.
hard as I expected. Nice. Let's take a look at the hypercell. The hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive. Eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I. I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be... Andro Ados? Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No! We're humans! Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then... Why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that.
You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Nitibas. The records in the legacy are all true. All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Nitiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, well that still doesn't change the fact that Nitibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Nitiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So, you are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean, in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Atibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. 